welcome to this week's Michelle Valentine show. I am Michelle Valentine. And I'm Joseph Izquierdo. Yes, today's show is quite exciting. How exciting is it, Michelle? Why don't you it is so exciting. I even have a certificate to show. Yes, yes, we <laughs> did. We, we went on a hot air balloon ride. We wanted ballooning. to show all of our viewers how romantic or how, what a great date it is to go on a hot air balloon ride. And as a matter of fact, we went there and there was a couple getting married on the hot air balloon and it was so, what are you doing? And it was so I'm exciting. I'm the little balloon. And um, so I got this certificate of hot air balloon certificate that I completed. And I got this certificate and Joseph got a certificate that says just hot air. I, I so, just know that works, Carmen. I, yes, just, I just had something spicy to eat uh -huh. last night, okay? I'm sorry. Okay. I apologize. Okay. Enough air. <laughs> Just like you, Joseph. A lot of hot air. Well, you know, a lot of hot air. At least I'll be starting away. Hello. We've been here since uh, seven this morning. It's not even 7:30 in the morning yet. I got up at like five o'clock to be able to do this. So we're here for a hot air balloon ride to show you how romantic it could be for a date. Look at this. And if you see behind us, there's actually a wedding couple that's right behind us. So they're getting married in about a half an hour. And to celebrate getting married, they're going up on a balloon ride. Okay, we want to get married in America. And uh, when we were sitting there, there was a phone call coming inside. From, uh, also, from you can get married in a hot air balloon. All right. And that's when we looked at <laughs> each other and said, okay, that's for us. And actually, they're from the Netherlands. So they thought this was the greatest thing to do to come to America and get married and go on a hot air balloon ride. So in just a bit, we're going to be riding on this biggest balloon right here. And we are so excited. So how long have you been doing this? Oh, um, weeks. Weeks? Oh yeah. Yeah, lots of weeks since 1979. <laughs> I was going to say only weeks. Oh, get me out of the basket. <laughs> no. We, so what? We've been hanging around Orlando flying balloons for over 20, well, about 20 years now. Wow. So just one day you're like, oh, I think I'm going to have a hot air balloon company or what? Well, no, I've been flying for a lot of other companies in town for many years before I ever bought this one. This company's roots go all the way back to the Church Street Station operation when Joe Kittinger owned it. And when he moved to Las Vegas, he sold it to one company and they uh, turned around and uh, merged it with their own company and then they they sold it to me later. And we uh, we fly out here in the Disney area now. You, you know, Ten years ago we flew out of downtown, but uh, we ran out of landing spots and takeoff spots, so we had to move out into the countryside. So hopefully we'll see some uh, critters when we're up today. Maybe maybe some deer, maybe some uh, hawks and eagles. We'll see all sorts of things out here. So guys, if you really want to impress your date, take them on a higher balloon ride. It's so romantic. So I guess we're ready to uh, go we're for ready a balloon to go ride. Fly. <laughs> We're ready to stick away. Calm down. He's such know. a baby. It's just that, you know, we're like floating. It's a good thing that we have the biggest balloon, you know, because I uh, I feel funny today. But um, I think it's pretty safe, though. You feel, feel funny today? Yeah, I feel like, uh, you know, we could be <laughs> dropping like a hard rock or something. Joseph! That thing that you folks hear is what's keeping us up in the air, basically. Is, uh, it's a bunch air. of hot air. Hot air, you know. How about if our, can our camera guy get a view of what it looks like up there? Camera guy? Camera guy, can you camera move guy. up there? Yeah, okay, cool. So that's what it looks like. So, and it's so quiet up here and it's peaceful. My ears are popping just a little bit.
guys, that was great. Thank you very much, Norm. We had a fabulous, fabulous, fabulous time. Thank you so much for allowing all of our audience to see what it's like to take a hot air balloon ride. Thank you very much. And I highly recommend it because this was, I mean, it was really peaceful up there. You get to see Florida the, the way it is, really. And Norm was gracious enough to like give us a little, a little tour, if you will. He was telling us, well, now to your right, you have golf courses to your left. You have more golf courses, but it was really nice. I really, really, really appreciate it. Yeah, the view is beautiful. So please give his company a call and go out for a hot air balloon ride. Remember, it's 438-4488 for Air Sports International Inc. <laughs> All right. So. Bye. Bye. Take care. The tradition of having wine as we balloon goes back over 200 years. The first manned balloon flights were out of Paris in 1783. These people would put up their balloons in the city and fly off into the countryside. When they got out into the countryside, the people there hadn't heard of balloons, and they were very superstitious. They knew man couldn't fly, so when something bigger than they'd, anything they'd ever seen came falling out of the sky, they figured some evil spirit was coming down to attack them. So they were there with their size and pitch, pitchforks ready to defend themselves. Oh my! So uh, the balloonists, being Frenchmen, were carrying wine along, and uh, they claimed it was to celebrate the flight after they made it, a few of us speculate it maybe it gave them the courage to try in the first place. <laughs> in any case, uh, a few years later, the Irish got into it and gave us what we call our Balloonist Irish Blessing. So, ladies and gentlemen, a toast. Toast. The winds have welcomed us with softness. The sun has blessed us with his warm hand. We have flown so high and so well that God has joined us in our laughter and set us gently back again into the loving arms of Mother Earth. Amen. Salute. <laughs> Salut. Come by. Come by. Okay, now we're here at the Riverview Hotel in New Smyrna Beach, and as you can tell, it's on the beautiful river. It was also featured in the Best Romantic Escapes in Florida book, the second edition. And we're, come on inside, and we're going to show just how romantic this Riverview Hotel is. It's beautiful with all the cozy bedrooms and a private pool and all kinds of wonderful little romantic amenities. So come on inside. Okay, Krista, so tell us all about the beauty and amazement of Riverview Hotel here in New Smyrna Beach. It's very romantic. Why don't you tell us when it was first established and the whole history behind it? Well, it was originally the bridge tender's home. It was later added on to around the 30s during its boom time. They added the wings in the back. Um, it got very run down in the 1970s. 1980, it was closed for fire violations. And my husband and I bought it in 1990, and it had been um, restored uh, by John Spang from Winter Park, who also has the Park Plaza. Um, he did a wonderful job restoring it, mm -hmm. and we just came along and painted it pink mm -hmm. and put all the gingerbread on, and uh, <laughs> my husband went into the rooms, painted them pastel colors. We bought some ornate carved oak beds, and we just made it as romantic and as comfortable for everyone as possible. It is, it is so romantic. So let's describe each one of the rooms. You have 18 rooms. Yes. Okay, so you have 18 rooms, and each room, tell us a little bit about each, each room. Each room is different. We have two honeymoon rooms. Um, they're on the top floor. They have private balconies and views. We have a two-room suite. It's on the second floor with a wraparound balcony towards the river and um, it's, it's very romantic. All the rooms are romantic. It's very romantic, and the bedrooms have uh, pine walls, and the bathrooms Some of are... them have heart pine walls, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and um, they all have private bathrooms. Mm -hmm. They all have color TVs. They all have HBO. <laughs> of course, we're air conditioned. It, it's funny when people ask me, that, are you air conditioned? Well, we're in Florida. We're open year round. We're air conditioned. Uh -huh. um, we have a swimming pool, mm -hmm. and it's heated in the winter. That's, that is so nice. There's nothing worse than going to a hotel. Yeah, and, and you can look at the pool, but you can't <laughs> swim in it. Exactly, exactly, for midnight rendezvous in the pool. Mm -hmm. And uh, what about bike riding? We have complimentary bicycles for our guests. And I noticed they have little uh, white baskets on the front, mm -hmm. so you can go shopping and yep. throw all your little goodies in the basket. Yeah. Now, speaking of goodies, you have a beautiful gift shop here you. <laughs> that you do all your own buying. Yes, I so do. So tell us a little bit about some of the trinkets that you oh have. Oh, gosh. 
We have lots of things, a variety, something for everybody. We have people come in that come once a year when they're here on vacation and they just say they have to come to the gift shop. Um, we have everything. We have items up to almost $3,000 and we have items for 50 cents. Mm -hmm. So we have t-shirts, anything anybody wants. What are some of the most popular items in the gift shop? Well, we do sell our bathrobes that we have oh. in the rooms. Uh -huh. So now, tell us a little romance story behind you and your husband. Now, both of you bought it. Now, it, that was the whole story that I heard no, earlier. No, it's not quite the whole story. <laughs> um, we looked at it because um, we were looking for a property to buy. Mm -hmm. And we came together and looked at it. And we made an offer um, that wasn't accepted. So we went away for a while. And the people called back and told him they would now accept our offer, a little bit different in price. And he accepted it and signed the contract and didn't tell me because it was my <laughs> birthday. And he gave me the hotel um, as a 40th birthday present. Oh, isn't that, that is wonderful. <laughs> what a great birthday present. Yeah. What a great husband. <laughs> yeah. That's very romantic. Sure so is. you have a romantic couple who owns a Riverview Hotel mm -hmm. and the hotel is very romantic. So so have you had a, had a lot of honeymooners that come here to the Riverview Hotel? Every, <laughs> every weekend we're full of honeymooners. So what type of treatment do they get when you know that they're, they're newly married? They get a bottle of champagne, mm -hmm. compliments of the hotel. Mm -hmm. um, we leave them alone, mostly. <laughs> <laughs> they, they get all the services everyone else does. Uh -huh. And we Very turn nice. the beds down in the evening, put chocolates on the pillows, bathrobes nice. on the corners of the beds, Very nice. um, close the shades, fill up their ice buckets, give them fresh towels. Mm -hmm. And we try to sneak in the rooms when the guests are out. <laughs> and then they come back and it's like a little fairy has been there. <laughs> Very nice. Now you have a little marina here. Yes. Uh-huh, and there's a restaurant next door. Yes, we have Riverview Charlie's, which is excellent seafood and service, entertainment on the deck, and it's very popular in the area. Mm -hmm. um, we have a 10-slip marina. Um, we offer transient dockage. Um, people staying in the hotel, there's no charge for them to bring their boat if it's under 25 feet while they're staying here. Nice, very nice. Well, this has been the most romantic tour at the Riverview Hotel. Well, thank you. And I'm sure that other people who are interested can call you or Certainly. and you are the and proprietor. We have a web page. Um, it's riverviewhotel.com. Mm -hmm. And we have an 800 number. Um, everything's on our brochure. It's 1-800-945-7416. Mm -hmm. And someone's at our desk 24 hours a day. Wonderful. And now they can also get a virtual tour of the hotel right, on your website. On our webpage, you can go into some of the rooms. And you were featured in the Best Romantic Escapes in Florida in the second edition by Pamela Ackerson and Richard Myers. Yes. And you are actually an actual chapter here located <laughs> in the book for New Smyrna. And it was a pleasure meeting you, Krista. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you very much. Okay. I'm back here at the Spanish River Grill here in New Smyrna Beach, and guess who I'm dining with? I'm dining with the owners of the Spanish River Grill. Okay, so now you're in the chef's outfit, and you're not, but we're going to be served the desserts, which actually Michelle has made, yes? Right. Okay, so I'm excited to try these desserts. And this is? This is our flan. Mmm. It's a very traditional Ooh, it's strawberries. Spanish dessert. And this oh, is, is this? maduros, which are also from the plantain family, but they're the very ripe version. And we fry them and toss them with butter, cinnamon, and sugar, and serve them with ice cream. <laughs> now, this is all fat-free, right? Absolutely, absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> I think the only thing that would be fat-free would be like the cinnamon specks on the plate. But <laughs> OK, and we have, what also do you serve? That's a Cuban coffee. Uh -huh. And that's very traditional. It has sugar in the bottom. We put that in there before you drink that. Mm -hmm. And then we also have a Keeps you going, right, Keeps after all the wine. Later, yeah. And then we also have the sherry. And you poured us the sherry. Yes, it's a 15-year-old Hidalgo uh, Jerez sherry, mm -hmm. and it's ex extraordinary. Jesus. Might as well bring the other chef as well. And this is your brother. Yes, yes. my younger brother. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> His name is? This is Matt, mm -hmm. Matt Salgado. Mm -hmm. And uh, if it wasn't for him, this place uh, wouldn't gotten off the ground as smoothly as it did. Oh. Okay, it takes now, all of us. 
Now, I told you that I had a surprise question for you. We're now, waiting. the authors that I had on earlier told me that the reason why this restaurant is so successful is because you are a romantic couple yourself. And so you make couples that come here feel very, you do lots of special things to make their experience here a wonderful experience. And so tell me, I have to know, so now you're making the desserts. You have a beautiful little boy. He kept looking at the monitors of the camera. <laughs> <laughs> and so tell me, how, how, did all, how did the restaurant get started? What made you get involved in the business together? Uh, it fell in our lap, basically. Uh -huh. I mean, uh -huh. we, we had it all planned, and, and uh, weeks and months and years went by before anything happened, and it just kind of fell in our lap. And we like to entertain, and this is pretty much our dining room. And we welcome everybody with that same, that same respect. Well, that's wonderful. It was nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. And Michelle, it was wonderful. I can't wait to sample these nice desserts. Nice to have you too here, Michelle. <laughs> Especially since they're fat-free. <laughs> okay, so we just we have just spent our time at Spanish River Grill with the owners and a chef as well. It's a romantic restaurant run by a romantic couple. So make sure you stop by and visit them in New Smyrna Beach. Stay tuned. Welcome, I'm Michelle Valentine, and I'm going to take you on a romantic, historical destination located in Florida. It's called Winter Park, and it's a quaint European-style village. It's a wonderful destination if you're looking for romance. You're going to follow me aboard as we go on a historical, world-famous scenic boat tour. I'm going to show you the famous college of Winter Park called Rollins College some beautiful gardens as well as some very beautiful romantic churches to get married in. So stay tuned and discover Winter Park. Welcome back to historical and romantic Winter Park located here in Central Florida. Discovering Romantic Winter Park is like finding yourself in a quaint, romantic European village where a touch of the old world awaits you. In Winter Park you will experience an atmosphere of tradition, tranquility, and elegance. Its current look has been preserved for more than 100 years when it was conceived as a winter resort for those well-to-do people wishing to escape from the northern winter. So follow me as I take you aboard a historical and romantic scenic boat tour ride in what they call the Venice of America. I am so excited to be going aboard the scenic boat tour here in Winter Park. This company has been around for over 50 years, so let's just hear all the history that they're going to tell us. This is going to be so romantic. Well, welcome aboard the Winter Park City Boat Tour. This is the oldest attraction in the area. It was founded in 1938. Uh, we're now on Lake Osceola, named after Seminole Indian Chief. It's about 158 acres in size, uh, 30 to 35 feet deep. It's spring fed and fresh water are good for fishing and swimming. All the lakes are uh, that way. They eventually flow into the St. Johns River which is the largest river in North America that flows from south to north. Over on the right here is the Pulaski Museum. Um, Mr. Pulaski uh, came to this country in 1922, I mean 1901, at the age of 22. And uh, by 1916, he was director of sculpture at the Chicago Institute of Art. The White House on the point up here was originally the richest state. Mr. Rich's architect was quite proud of his original creation because he had designed it so that you could see the lake from every room in the house. Here is 
a white cross. Uh, you see it there, it's owned by the Methodist Church across the street. And uh, they use this site for their sunrise Easter services here with the benches on the lakefront. So there'll be a service here next Sunday. The home on the right over here, the Spanish Mediterranean style home, was the site for some scenes from Tom Hanks' movie, From Earth to Moon. They were here almost two weeks during filming, and about a minute of what they shot here, two weeks appeared in the final film. This is exactly what they mean by Venice of America. What a romantic boat ride for two, bring along your picnic basket. How romantic could that possibly be? Two trees up ahead were blown down in Hurricane Donna in 1960. The second one is being supported by three steel columns on the left as we go by there, so people on the right side of the boat will have to duck. And here on the right, you get a close-up of some cypress knees. Third weekend in March every year, they have the Winter Park Art Festival, which is one of the top ranked art festivals in the country. Right from here was the scene of the festival poster, right down the canal. Well, I hope you had as much fun as I did on the scenic boat tour in Winter Park as it's one of the most romantic things to do here in Winter Park. So follow me as we go to another romantic destination. Well, I'm Michelle Valentine and I hope that you enjoyed our trip on a romantic destination in the wonderful historical and romantic city located in Florida called Winter Park. Thank you for watching and watch again next time as I give you more romantic destinations. Bye-bye.